I say getting my life together in 2024, it honestly just means adding structure to my day. As of right now in my life, I have a lot going on. I'm a student athlete. I play basketball for my university. I am running a clothing company, Strive. I am trying to start a bunch of other business ventures, trying to keep up with content creation, as well as I'm still a student. So to juggle all these things and to stay effective in all these things, there needs to be systems in place to kind of maximize productivity, um, maximize efficiency, and honestly just create like a lifestyle where distractions are kept to a minimum and I can focus on my goals and really get the things done that I need to get done. One thing that I'm trying to prioritize in 2024 is mental health. I feel like it's something that not a lot of people talk about in the whole hustle culture, entrepreneur, like kind of mindset thing, but I'm not gonna lie, like it's something that really needs to be taken care of, um, especially for men. So in 2024, like I plan on prioritizing things that make me happy as a person, bring me genuine joy and make me a better version of myself rather than just putting all that stuff to the side and focusing on things that don't really matter in the long run. I mean. Prioritizing like mental health, it's, it's tough because it's like things that you don't really want to like face or talk about, but it's important and I'm starting to realize that and uh, in 2024, I'm, I'm making that change for not only myself, but it's also just for the betterment of all aspects of my life. You know, journaling is one of those things that I can honestly say has probably changed my life. It's something that I've doing for about four years now. And for me, it's kind of just a way to filter out what's going on in my mind. I feel like if you're like me and your mind is like a network. It's just like a web of things. Uh, when you journal, you're forced to write things down in like lines. So it's almost like you take what's in your mind and then you just organize it. It's honestly a great way to just communicate your thoughts, whether it's to yourself or you can communicate with people maybe you are no longer in contact with. It's honestly just a great way to get whatever's inside outside without having to actually talk to somebody. What I've recently been doing is I've been writing down my gratitudes in the morning every day. I feel like in today's world, it's so easy to just start comparing yourself and, and, and succumbing to like everything negative that's going on. Uh, when you write about your gratitudes, it really, it's really grounding and it makes you feel thankful for the stuff you have. It, it brings some positivity to your life. And um, in the mornings, I also write about my intentions for the day, kind of just how I want to go about the day. It's not so much a goal, but it's more so like spiritually and emotionally how I want to tackle the day and how I want to put my best foot forward to kind of just kill the day. So the intentions that I've set for myself today, I set three every single day. Number one is to tackle every situation that I face in the day with a calm mindset. Do not be reactionary. Take a moment to sit with your feelings before taking action. Number two, attack my to-do list with discipline. Get everything that I set out for myself done before getting lazy. And number three, navigate the day at my own pace. Do not speed up or slow down for anybody. Your own happiness is the priority. Do not adjust based on finding validation in others. All right, I'm not gonna lie. There's two aspects of my life that I feel like I'm struggling with the most, and that is sleep and mornings. And to be fair, they kind of tie back into each other, but I'm naturally a night owl, I know that. But at the same time, like I need to figure out how to go to bed early so that I can set my mornings up to be more efficient and I can just get a better start to the day, you know? So one thing that I did is I bought this Aura ring and it tracks your sleep. It's not looking too good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it gives you a score out of 100. Yesterday night was a 68, not the greatest. 
my scores tend to hover around that number and it's something that I'm really trying to work on it's something that I know is not going to be instant right away but at the same time it's something that needs to be done So kind of going back to these systems, the way that I've structured my mornings are the first part of the morning when I wake up, that's really for me. That's like for my soul, my mind, it's to kind of get my thoughts together for the day. Like you saw, I journal, cook my breakfast, I eat, I, I drink my coffee, I, I just do things at my own pace. And then the second part of my morning is when the actual work starts. So like I said, I run a clothing company called Strive. Um, got a lot of work to do for that. I'm trying to build it from the ground up. So that takes a lot of my time as well as this content creation. The second part of my morning is dedicated to really just deep focused work and knocking things off my to-do list. So for right now, there's a new sweater that's going live today for Strive. It's the I Miss the Old You hoodie. And we basically got to take the release pictures for that, um, edit them, and then we got to make it go live on the website. It's gonna be a busy day, but like I said, structures and systems help me kind of take control of my day and not let it get out of hand. One thing that I found that's been really helping me um, get my stuff together in 2024 is making a to-do list the night before. And honestly, that way it just like organizes your thoughts. It organizes like what you have to do. And then you're not like figuring things out like as you have to do them. Like you already have a structured plan throughout the day. So today, like I said, we're dropping a new hoodie for Strive. I'm about to take pictures for that. And I'm actually super, super excited because I think the design is sick. I'm gonna show y'all. Pictures are taken. Just, just, just check out this hoodie, y'all. Just check out this hoodie. You know? Can y'all see that? I miss the old you. I miss the old you. I miss the old you. Strive hoodie. Go check it out. Show some support. I'm also doing this thing where I'm doing 50 straight days of documenting how I'm building my clothing brand. So day one is today. So I've already filmed a little bit of that. Yeah, man. Like it's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be an interesting journey. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Like this is something that I'm really passionate about. This is something that I really want to succeed in. And it's something that I'm, I'm gonna put in the work. Strive, man, strive. Check these out. These are the items that we're doing. I think they're so fire and those are the pictures that i'm going to be using in the website and on the ig post so yeah